A pleasant good afternoon to all of my brothers and sisters. I greet you in the wonderful name of Yahushua Hamashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us to deny ungodliness and worldly lust, that we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of our great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good works. I am here today again with another message, my brothers and sisters, and a warning for Helen DeGeneres. A warning to Helen DeGeneres. Turn away from sin. Seek the only true God. Repent. Stop what you're doing. God created a woman for a man, not two women to be together. You have forsaken the only true God who can give you eternal life. Seek God so your soul can live. Break yourself from the bondage of sin. God will give you liberty and eternal life once you seek him and repent from all of your sins and all of your sinful ways. Jesus Christ is the only way, the truth, and the life. He is on his life itself. Without Jesus, there is no life. So seek him and let your soul live. I also heard in the spirit, soon, very soon, Bibles will be burnt. My brothers and sisters, great persecution is coming to the United States of America. It is already around over 70 different countries. Persecution has increased. And we're going to see it is coming to the United States and to Canada. Prepare yourself. Bibles are going to be burnt. Also, my brothers and sisters, I heard in the spirit, the fallen ones are coming soon. Prepare yourself. Portals are being opened. So my brothers and sisters, I told you on the last video that the ports of hell are going to open and Satan and his angels are going to be roaming the earth. They are on the earth now spiritually, but now we're going to be seeing them with our eyes, my brothers and sisters. Do not fear them, only fear God. I pray to the Lord Jesus Christ every day to help me and to take away fear from me because I should only fear God and fear what he can do to my body and my soul. Do not fear those ugly creatures that will be coming down. I know they are ugly and their sight alone might scare you so bad that you might faint. But don't faint. Because my brothers and sisters, the only power that they have is what God gave to them. And their powers are limited. They cannot hurt God's children because we are covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. And once you believe that you're covered by the blood of Jesus Christ and they cannot hurt you, you don't have anything to worry about. So please seek the Lord on this. But portals are being opened. And very soon we're going to be seeing them, my brothers and sisters. Okay. Now, last night, the Lord gave me a dream of a very bad storm that is coming. Three to four weeks ago, or even five weeks ago, I put out a video letting you know that the Lord has given me, um, told me that there's a bad storm that is coming. I dream all flights were canceled. Everything was down. I saw the, the sea level rising with, with, with trucks and cars and buses and cargoes and goods. People stranded, nowhere to go. My brothers and sisters, a bad storm is coming. Prepare yourself for that bad storm. I don't know if it is, will be around the world or if it will be in the U.S. alone, but I know that I was going to Barbados in the dream and I could not go to Barbados because of the bad storm. All right. I heard in the spirit the great falling away has started. I believe in the first Thessalonians, um, first Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 2, uh, the Lord talked and said that before he returned, the great falling away massacre and the man of perdition must be seen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord told me the great falling away has started. So I'm here to let you know that the Lord said the great falling away has started. Now, I heard in the spirit, word to Israel. A couple months ago or weeks ago, the Lord told me that Ezekiel 38 and 39 is about to happen. We know that Israel right now have the spirit of slumber. 
their eyes are shut where they cannot see and their ears where they should not hear until the day of the siege. And on that day, my brothers and sisters, Israel's eyes will be open and they will know and they will seek the Lord and the Lord will help his people. Okay, I also heard woe to the world. When, you, when the Lord say woe, it means judgment to the world. My brothers and sisters, we are seeing the judgment that is falling upon the, the world. But Isaiah chapter 24 verse 5 tells us that we have broken the everlasting covenant of God and changed his ordinance around. So the world is guilty of sin. The world is guilty of sin. So we are under judgment of God. So for those of you again who do not know God, please seek him, repent and turn away from all sin. The darkness is upon us. Days again are counting down. We are almost there. My brothers and sisters, you do not want to be in the darkness without knowing God. The darkness is terrible, terrible. The Lord tell me it's terrible. And he showed it to me in, my, in, in an open vision. Please seek the Lord. Repent and turn away from all sin. Stop sinning against God. Go to him. Beg for mercy. He will answer you. He will hear you. He's a God full of mercy and compassion. He will not neglect no one who call upon his name. Because he said in the book of Joel and the book of, um, I believe in the book of Acts, call upon those who call upon the name of the Lord before the terrible and before the great and terrible day of the Lord shall be saved. But don't wait until the terrible day, before the terrible day of the Lord. Now is before. Now is the time. Now is the time for you to call upon the name of the Lord before the great and terrible day come. Ask him to cleanse your life and, to re and repent of your sin. Turn away from them. Do not go back into sin. You cannot keep on sin sinning and expect God to forgive you. You must stop the sin in order to be saved. Now is the time before the darkness. Scuffers and muckers. Those who party in. Those who are not seeking God. Those who think it's a joke. Seek the Lord. Repent and turn away from all sin. God bless you my brothers and sisters. I hope that you guys are really seeking the Lord. Because this darkness my brothers and sisters. Satan and his angels they cannot fight them. It's only when God protect you. But those without God protection, I am sorry for you. So seek the Lord, repent, and turn away from all sins. God bless you. Bye-bye.